Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. When a conical bottle rests on its flat base, the water in the bottle is 8 centimeters from its vertex. When the same conical bottle is turned upside down, the water level is 2 centimeters from its base. The question is, what is the height of the bottle? I was told this was a competition problem for 8th graders, which means students who are aged roughly 12 to 13 years old. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So when I first got this problem, I thought it was actually a mistake. How can you solve it without knowing the radius of the cone? But amazingly, it works out. The idea is to solve for the volume of water in both cones and then set them equal to each other. It all simplifies so that you can solve for the height of the cone. So let's get started with the cone on the left. We'll write h for the height of the cone. Now let's set up some triangles. We have a large triangle where it's one leg is equal to the radius of the circle at the bottom, and we'll denote that as r. We have another triangle where its base is the radius of the upper cone, and we'll write r sub 1 for that. Now let's determine the volume of water. This will be the difference in volume of the large cone and the small cone. So this will be pi over 3 r squared h minus pi over 3 r1 squared times 8. Now we can simplify this formula a little bit by using similar triangles. The large triangle and the small triangle are similar to each other. Therefore, the ratio of each leg to each height is the same. So we have r1 over 8 is equal to r over h which means r1 is equal to 8r over h. We substitute that in, and then we simplify to get an equation for the volume of water. It's pi over 3 times r squared times the quantity h minus 512 over h squared. So let's keep that formula in mind, and then let's solve for the same sort of formula for the other cone. Now let's set up this diagram. We have the same height and the same radius of r. But then we want to solve for another cone, and we'll denote this radius as r2. We also need the height of this other triangle, since the entire height of the cone is h, and then it's 2 centimeters from the top, this dimension will be h minus 2. We now want to solve for the volume of water, and that'll be the volume of this small cone. So we get the formula pi over 3 r2 squared times h minus 2. Again, we'll use similar triangles. We have r2 over h minus 2 is equal to r over h. This means r2 is equal to h minus 2, the quantity, multiplied by r all over h. So we substitute that in, and then we simplify this to get the volume of water in this cone is pi over 3 times r squared times the quantity h minus 2 cubed all over h squared. So we've arrived at a pretty complicated formula, and it doesn't seem like we can solve for the value of h. However, let's see what we can do. We've actually derived two different equations for the volume of water. Since all we've done is turn the cone upside down, we know that the volume of water in both cones has to be equal. So we set these two equations equal to each other. And now we have a miraculous cancellation. Notice that pi over 3 times r squared cancels out in both equations. The answer is independent of r, and the length of the radius of the large cone cancels out. So we now want to solve for the value of h. After we multiply both sides by h squared, 
we get the equation h cubed minus 512 is equal to the quantity h minus 2 cubed. We'll expand out h minus 2 cubed to the following. We have h cubed minus 6h squared plus 12h minus 8. We then simplify both formulas by canceling h cubed, and then we get a quadratic formula. 6h squared minus 12h minus 504 is equal to 0. We divide by 6 to get h squared minus 2h minus 84 is equal to 0. Now we can use the quadratic formula, and we're looking for a positive solution because the height of the cone has to be positive. So we get that h is equal to 1 plus the square root of 85 and this is approximately equal to 10.2 centimeters. And amazingly, we figured out the height of the cone. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can map the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, Watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos. Email me a puzzle or topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.